Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Angella and welcome to the Practical C-Sharp video series. Uh, in this video I'd like to talk about the switch statement that has been added in C-Sharp 7. Uh, I have Visual Studio 2017 uh, with a console application. Um, and let me uh, quickly show you what we have here. We have an account class, a student, individual and business classes that both uh, all inherit from account. They basically form a hierarchy. I have a method, uh, apply discount, that takes an account and a price and return the, disc the, the price um, after applying the discount. Uh, as you can see, if it's, uh, the account is null, it throws an exception. If the account is a student, returns zero, so the product is free. Uh, if you're an individual, I will apply the percentage discount, that's part of the individual, uh, is a property of, of the individual. And if it's a business, we apply a different discount based on the number of employees. Um, and I have, a, I have a main that basically creates a student, an individual, small and large business, apply the discount on a price of 100. And uh, it's a random problem, you can see the different price after the, the discount. Right, so let's try to use uh, the switch um, uh, statement instead of a series of ifs uh, in the apply discount. So what we can do is just uh, use switch as account. We can do the first if using the uh, case now expression, uh, pattern pattern. We can actually do that. <coughs> now we see shop seven. And we can do the, if his case is a student, we can just return zero. So that's the new syntax we can use. We can provide a type and the, a variable name. In this case, we don't really need the student, so we can do underscore to ignore the actual um, uh, variable that after the pattern is matched. Then we can do case individual. And what we return is this. Right? So all this three now has been done. Then we can do the business. If I do a case business, business. So here is interesting because if I do that, um, how can I differentiate between these two? I could do the if inside. So let's start doing that. Just do that. Yeah. The if. So basically, this method is be replaced, and as default. I can throw this, the, the exception in by the operation exception. I can remove this line of code. So if I run this code, it will produce the same output. Um, however, in Microsoft added also the ability to use a when keyword here and provide an expression, basically to pattern match based on a particular expression. Uh, so I can actually do that and create another case statement for all the businesses that are not have a number of employees greater than 50. And this is, will generate the same results. So it's very important to, uh, to say that the order of the case statements really matters. If you change the order, for example, and you put case business business at the beginning, the compiler will tell you that um, the switch case has already been handled by a previous case. So, um, if I try to build, it actually fails because it's, uh, this is basically unreachable. So it's very important to consider the order of the case statements with a new switch statement. Uh, so this is basically it. So this is a new feature has been added in Fisher 7 and can be quite useful to, to use in particular situations. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the switch statement. Uh, in these cases, you might have you could have achieved the same, uh, um, you could have solved the same problem using uh, polymorphisms, for example. But it's great to, to have this feature in the language that is makes the language a bit more functional. Thanks for watching. And uh, what do you think about the switch, the new switch statement with pattern matching? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.